Hey there guys, it's Kim George here with another video tutorial or actually just a, a quick video. Hopefully this will be quick. And um, in today's video guys, we're going to be talking all about how to find great font combinations in Canva that you can apply to your designs. Now, um, I've been doing a lot of or quite a few uh, product audits for Amazon KDP. So just a heads up, this is something that I just started recently offering and I've been getting um, some requests for this, but, um, you know, and I've noticed that one of the things that people tend to struggle with is in design. And so, um, I decided to just offer this as a quick service to help you guys out. If you're interested where I go in and I take a look at your Amazon KDP products, if it's not selling, I can give you some suggestions on keywords you can try to use. Um, also critique your design. So if that's something that you're interested in and you're finding yourself struggling with making sales, you can definitely give me an email or send an email to me. I'm more than gladly um, take a look at your product and give you some feedback on it to make improvements to it to hopefully help you get some sales. Um, but anywho, now, um, you know, when it comes to the world of design, font pairing is going to be essential. Um, you don't want to overdo it and you don't want to underdo it. So I figured that today I will put together a list of some hacks that you can use if you struggle with font design or font pairing rather um, in Canva. So let's go ahead and dive off into this tutorial. So first things first, um, over in Canva, if you struggle with design, one of the things that you can do as number one is going to be to use the font text tool. So um, if when you're in Canva, what you would do is this, you can come over and click inside of your design and then you're going to come over to the left and you're going to go, go ahead and click on the text tool or this text right here. So you can see underneath here, these are some of the fonts that I use for my branding, but underneath this is you're going to start seeing all kinds of different font combinations that you can apply to your designs. So as an example, this is one right here. It's called Be Brave. Um, I can hardly see this one, but I can easily come in here and I can just change this to a different color. Or what I can also do is instead of using this um, outline-ish looking design or effect, I can go to effects and I can change this from the hollow design over to none. And that is what this uh, font combination looks like. Now, if we want to use something that kind of has a font plus some text, you can keep coming over and scrolling through until you find something. So for example, um, you could use this as a font combination in your design as the sub the, as the heading and then as the subtext so the heading is going to be lustria and then the bottom is going to be it looks like lustria as well just in all caps all right so you can use that and then you can just keep coming through here until you find a font combination that you can apply to your designs that canva has already done so i'm going to look at a couple of more and you know again you just come through here and you can just easily apply these to your designs and again it takes all of the guesswork out of what fonts would pair well together and i think this is a really pretty font. this could be used for um, a book cover or a journal cover and it looks like this font is italiano and then the second font is comorant uh, Cormorant Garamond, I think it is. I think that's the name of it. Yeah, light. So again, if you struggle with font combinations and choosing fonts, this is a tool that you are resourcing Canva that you can use. All right, so I'm going to have to delete this. Okay, so coming in at number two is going to be to pull font combinations from other designs within Canva. This is something that I always do, guys. Again, I'm not a I'm, I'm a DIYer designer, but this is something I always do. And this simply is um, a matter of you doing this over in Canva under the elements, not elements, but under the template section. What you're going to do is just kind of scroll through and look at the different designs again that they have already put together and just find something that really speaks to you that you can apply to your own design so for example i can pop this over into this area right here and then what i can do is i can actually go in here and i'm going to drag my mouse across these this font combination i'm going to go ahead and click group and then what I can do is I can do add another page and say, for example, I was creating a different kind of design or maybe I'm creating something like this. Well, I wanted to use this as my book cover, I don't know, or whatever cover. So I'm going to pop this over here. And then what I can do is I can remove this and then I can come here and I can basically duplicate this and then I can drag this over into this design. So you see, and then I can just come in here and I can start just changing up the colors 
and things like that to kind of make it jive a little bit better with my design. So again, that is another way. It's just going through the different designs and just pulling something based on the kind of design that you are creating. So if you're creating a uh, baby book or something like that, I don't know why I always say babies, but <laughs> um, all you have to do is come over and type in baby. And so I can just click add a page. And then what you can do for your baby book, instead of struggling to figure out what fonts go well together, is you can just scroll through until you find a font combination that works. And I think something like this is actually really cute. So I love this. I love this top font and I love the bottom font. And so I'm gonna pop this over into my design area. And then what I can do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I can just basically highlight these two fonts. I can right click. I can copy these two fonts together and then I can click add a new page and it's going to add the new page here. And then what I can do is on this new page, I can just go and find a different design and then again, remove this and then I'm going to paste. So you see that? And I think this font combination is really, really cute. And then what I would do lastly is I'm going to lock this. And then I'm going to group this together to make sure that I can move this around and that it doesn't come apart. So you see what I just did there? And then change the colors and that's it. So this is another way and another tip to go and find different font combinations to apply to your design. So I'm going to remove that. Okay, so coming in at the next one is going to be to use the font sets feature in Canva under styles. Now, this right here is something that I recently discovered and um, it's really a, a great feature that they have. And so what you're gonna do to get to styles is you're gonna come over, over on this bar right here is a toolbar. And then what you're gonna do is go underneath styles. Okay, so you can see here underneath the styles, they have all kinds of color schemes. These are some of the color schemes that I have already that I've added. And you can see that they have a section that is called font sets. So what I'm gonna do is click see all, and you can see here that Canva already has font sets that you can easily apply to designs when you get stuck and you're just not really sure what fonts are going to pair together. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose this one. This is the Nick Canley, and I'm gonna apply this. And you see what it did? It does the heading, the subheading, and the body. Now, any font that you don't want to use in your design, you can just remove it. So for the body, if you don't have a body or a body text, you can just remove this. And then I'm going to highlight this and I'm gonna group this together. And I think this is a really cute font combination for a journal. Again, I know people struggle with this, but this is just a really fantastic resource, guys. It's gonna take the headache out of trying to figure out what fonts pair together. And then you can do the same thing. So I can come here, I can delete this group, and I can come back over. And you can just keep looking until you find something that pairs well together for you. So another one that I would probably potentially use may be this one. I think this is a really cute combination here. I would remove this and then again, I'm just gonna highlight this text, gonna group, and then here you can increase the size, you can decrease the size, you can come in here, you can change your colors. So maybe if you wanted to use some different colors, you can do that. And then you can go in and start adding elements, all that kinds of stuff, right? So this is another tip and resource that you can use and apply to the different designs that you are creating. And then last but not least as a final tip is to check out Canva's ultimate guide to font pairing. Now I'm gonna put a link in the description below for you guys so you can head over and check this out because I do think that this is really, really helpful. Um, this guide has been out for a while and it is really, really helpful. You know, like I said, sometimes I struggle when I'm choosing fonts and topography for the different designs that I'm creating for my Amazon KDP books. And then also for other design projects that I have because I do design certain things for specific clients that I have. And sometimes I'm just like, good Lord, I don't know what to use here, what to do. So what I'll do sometimes is I will come over and just scan through this ultimate guide to font pairing over on Canva's website to look at what they have. And what I absolutely love here is that they they tell you specifically, you know, what case to use. They tell you the size and the style of the font. And then they also tell you, uh, again, the size. So in this example, what they're telling you is that in this specific font combination, 
it is good to use leak spartan in a 57 case or a 57 point size in uppercase okay and then they're also saying that libra baskerville in a 27 point in italics is what is what is going to look good with this top font and then for your body font to use libra baskerville in a 13 point so you see how that works so this can be a font combination again if you struggle with pairing fonts together that you can come over and just use these it's already done for you and apply them to your designs now this is all coming from from designers these are people that have a background in design so they're gonna know what looks good together what pairs well together and all of that good stuff so again it just takes the guesswork out of things and so you can just keep scrolling through here to look at some of the other uh templates or not templates but the other font combinations that they have um you know that they're recommending that you can use and apply on your designs and again it just takes the guesswork out of everything so this is one for an ebook um, they have one here for travel they have another here for fashion and retail um, so this all kind of font combinations that they're giving you basically or are pointing you to in um, this ultimate guide to font pairing in canva so guys again i just wanted to drop by to do this quick video i hope that this has been helpful to you and then also there was one other thing that i did want to show you guys and it is over under the styles section this is as a bonus tip so not only do they have font sets that you can apply to your designs but they also have combinations as well so the combinations include the font combination and they choose and they also include colors so if you're not good with choosing colors you can actually come over and use this plus apply the fonts as well so i'm going to go ahead and just use this one as an example so here's an example that they're giving with this font combination and then the color palettes. And so what you can do is if you're not happy with how things are looking, you can keep shuffling this. Do you see? Until you find something that works. And then if you just don't like, and I think this is really pretty, but if you just don't like what it's giving you, then you can easily come down and select another and keep shuffling until you find something that works and so on and so forth. So I just wanted to come and share these tips with you. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe out there. And please be sure if you have not already, like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I will see you guys in another video. Bye.